Hey nonprofits, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna share my screen to show you how you can use Canva to create free and beautiful images that your nonprofit can use on social media. I love Canva because you don't need to have any graphic design experience. It's very easy to use and most of the features are free. And the good news is if you're a nonprofit, you might be eligible for Canva Pro, which will unlock all of the features for free. So make sure you stay till the end because that's when I'll show you how you can apply to get Canva Pro for free. So right now you are looking at my screen. This is the default homepage you'll um, see when you log into your Canva account after you create one. So I recommend the first thing you do is to go over to the brand kit tab on the left hand side of the navig navigation and set everything up from the get-go. So when you have the um, free version of the account, the only thing you'll be able to do is upload your brand colors. But once you unlock the pro version, you can upload your logo and you can also upload any fonts that your nonprofit has decided you wanna use. And if you don't know which font that is, you can scroll through Canva. They have hundreds of fonts, maybe even thousands of fonts, and you can set these so that your images look consistent and have that same look and feel no matter what. So um, for brand colors, maybe you don't know what your brand color is. And so there's color codes that you put in here for exact matches. So for example, I'm going to say that we're Habitat for Humanity. So a quick trick, if you wanna ever learn how to grab these color codes, is you can go to Google and you can search HTML color from image. And I always use the first result that pops up that's why it's um, highlighted in purple here. So what you do is you upload your logo or any other image where you wanna pull a color from. And once you upload the logo, you'll see it um, here and you just click on the color that you want. So the color code here is 56B849. We're gonna copy that over. And we're just gonna delete what was in there and add this. So now we have our brand color already set up. And because we have two colors for this logo, we'll also grab the other one. So we just click on the blue part and we cop copy that code, uh, wipe out what's in there. And now we have our two brand colors. So this is going to show up once we start to create an image. So let's navigate back to the home page. And what, you can, what you'll see here is there's create a design. And so there's some automatic recommendations, social media, presentation, Facebook cover photo. If you're looking for something specific, you can type it in. So maybe you're looking for a Facebook ad size and you can see there is um, a suggested 1200 by 628 pixels. And so you could click on that. For today's purposes, we're gonna just do a generic social media image. So let's go ahead and click on social media. Now it's going to um, encourage you to add some text and then pick a template. And I just wanna point out a couple things to you. So um, you'll see on the left-hand side, there's some templates. You could scroll through those and see if any made sense for um, your nonprofit. Maybe you see a specific um, template that you like and you can use that by using uh, multiple images in it. Or you could type something specific in here like quotes. So maybe you want to um, share quotes and it's going to bring up all the specific quote options where you can customize them for your nonprofit. So um, we're just going to go back and let's um, say we want to use this template. Maybe it struck our eye for some reason. And once we have a template that we like, you can then go back over to the left hand side of the tab and click uploads so that you can upload your own image if you had one. So let's again go with the Habitat for Humanity example and upload a photo of people working. And we could drag this into the template and you can start to see that it's starting to customize for Habitat for Humanity. So what we wanna do is click on this 
color block on the top and we want to make it more branded. So to do that, we click on the color up on the left or left upper hand corner and you'll see that our brand colors are already in here. So this makes it much easier to just grab it from here. So let's try to see what it looks like in green. We can try to see what this looks like in blue. And because the people in the image are wearing blue shirts, blue does work better. So we can do something like, um, let's say, volunteer today. We could say, you know, help build homes. And then we could say something like, um, maybe there's an event coming up this weekend. So we could say something like, um, next volunteer opportunity is June, we'll say Saturday, June 30th. That might be Sunday, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so now you have this image that looks nice. You didn't have to have any graphic design experience, but you were able to put text on it to help it stand out. And it, from here, all you have to do is click the um, download button and it's gonna download this image and then you can upload it to social media. So this is really amazing because you're just able to customize things. And if you don't have photos, maybe, um, let's say that you are just starting out or you haven't had the resources to get fo uh, photographs in the past, you can search something like building a home and you'll get images that you're able to use. Now, when you hover over these, some of them have dollar signs, they're premium images, but some are free. And the great thing is that when you get Canva Pro, a lot of the premium images are unlocked for free. So this is definitely a reason why you want to apply as a nonprofit to get Canva, uh, Canva Pro. So let's just, for example, pull an image, drag and drop another image in. Another tip is that if the image isn't lining up where you want it to, you can double click it and move it around. So this one, we're, we're kind of limited. It's probably not the best photo, but you could then um, you know, type in different things to see if different images come up. and maybe that's a better image. So you're able to just really plug and play. And we did this, what, in a matter of just a couple minutes. Um, so another thing that you can do is you can add elements of any kind. So there's different shapes, there's illustrations, there's emojis. So you could really come in here and just play around. I recommend you come in here and just play around for at least an hour and see all of the robust features and cool design options that Canva offers. So that is how you create social media images from Canva. And I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And now I wanna show you how you can apply for Canva for nonprofits. So we will put this link in our description. So make sure you just click the link in our description to get to this page. So you'll see there's Canva for nonprofits and they want to be able to empower storytellers and help you build beautiful campaigns so that people can connect with what you're saying in your captions. Um, if you scroll down, there's over 4,500 nonprofits using Canva. They have some case studies here that you're able to take a look at and then you'll get to the apply now button. So when you click that, it's going to give you the eligibility requirements. And if you are a nonprofit in the United States, the key thing is that you're a 501c3 nonprofit. There's some other guidelines if you're from a different country. Um, so make sure just to click on those and to check them out. So just to give you a quick look at what it entails. So check if you're eligible. There's an application that you submit and you'll get feedback in about 30 days. When we helped a nonprofit apply for their pro account, it only took about 10 days, but of course it always varies depending on demand. So the actual application is fairly simple and straightforward. Um, they want you to just put in the basic information. 
and then they ask you some questions about how you're going to um, use Canva and what you've been or what you're trying to accomplish. And you just click the terms and you submit it. And then once you're approved or accepted as a nonprofit, you can then go back to the home page and then you can optimize your brand kit even more. So you can then add in your logo, you can add in your, your fonts, and you can also add, uh, I think, up to 10 team members. And so this gives your entire organization access so that you can you know, grant access to volunteers or if you have a team of people, you're able to do that. And so um, those are the, just the key things that you need to know about Canva. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you found this video helpful and you're interested in seeing more tutorials. And if you can leave a comment below with whether or not you're going to start using Canva or apply for Canva, we would love it. So thanks for tuning in and have a great day.